a, a baseball diamond has a shape of a square with 90 feet side, so you have a diamond here. It should be a square, so 90 degrees. And then these uh, side lengths are 90. And then there's this guy running from here to there. And then you're looking at this, the, this length S from the whole plate. So if, it's run, if this person is running from the second base to third base, how fast is this S changing? That's the question. Okay. All right. Um, what variable should we assign? We have to talk about the, the speed 25 feet per second, right? Yeah. So how sh we, we need to say this is the rate of change of some variable. Okay. So x, x should be what? Which one? Uh, the small one. We want x to be this one. Why? Because uh, it says uh, when, especially because uh, if this is x and that's s, then, then you don't have to involve the entire entire square. You can just take this much, which is just the right triangle. So we, we can just use uh, the right here. If you use x to be this one, the other one, then you have to involve this entire triangle. So it, it might be uh, the <coughs> equation that you get might be harder. Okay? So it's better to use this one. Okay, okay so we, we appointed x to be this side. Then this 25 <coughs> feet per second should be encoded as what? It's the rate of change of dx dt. dx dt <coughs> equal to negative 25. negative 25. Thank you, because this is shrinking, so it should be negative. And then uh, the question is how fast s is changing. So it's ds dt. And then what? When? When? Uh, x equals 20. Yeah, so here it doesn't say when, but uh, you can kind of see that uh, he's not always at 20, right? So this is the question being asked at, at, at that moment. The, at the moment when the person is at 20 feet from the, the third base, this question is being asked, right? So you should say x equals 20. So this, this was a little tricky because it didn't follow the standard uh, word when. Usually when is explicitly there and you can easily pick, pick it up, but here you have to think a little bit. So that, that's the rate of change of one variable and you're asking the rate of change of another given some condition and you have the relationship uh, that can, you can get from here. Okay. What's the relationship between, between x and s? Pythagorean here, right? So it's x squared plus 90 squared equal to s squared. Okay, so this actually translates all the word, pro word problem here into a few equations, right? Now we can just solve it. How do we solve it? Differentiate. So tell me what you get if you differentiate. 2x. 2x. Dx 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 dt. dt. Plus 0. 2s. Ds dt. And we're looking for okay. Ds dt. And then you're looking for the SVT. Now, since you've done the derivative, now you're free to plug this in. Negative 25 times 2 is negative 50. DX dt. Oh, and then x, x is, is 20. 20. Sorry, sorry. 2 times 20 times negative 25 equals to 2 times s times ds dt. And when, since you're trying to find out what ds dt is, you should divide both sides by 2s. S, so that 2, 2 cancels, and that's uh, negative 500 over S. What do we do about this S? <coughs> we find the S's by, by, by plugging in here, right? So you have uh, X is 20. When X is 20, the question is, what is the S? So that's 400 plus 8,100. So you have uh, s squared equals to 
8,500. Then taking the square root of both sides, you get S. 100 can come out as 10. <coughs> so 10 times 80 is the square root of 85. That's what you have. When you plug that in, you get DSDT equals to negative 500 over 10 times the square root of 85. I guess one of the zeros can be canceled, and then you get negative 50 over the square root of 85. What's the unit? Meters per second. 